live today in the Palmetto State, South Carolina. And good morning to you and Merry Christmas. And thank you for making a few minutes for us today. And good morning. Good morning, Bill. Merry th Christmas th to you. Thank you. That poll this morning also found 35% of Americans would be embarrassed by Hillary Clinton as president. But 50% say they'd be embarrassed by Donald Trump. Uh, are you part of the 35 or the 50%? <laughs> well, look, I'm running for president because I think Hillary Clinton cannot be our president. I can beat Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump cannot. And I would also say that no one imagined that I would be seven at this point in the race, having started in May when I was 17 out of 16, because the pollsters didn't even ask for my name. That's how few people knew me. So I feel very good about where we are here in South Carolina and other early states. Uh, Hillary Clinton cannot be president, and Donald Trump will not be president. Well, um, I, I note a sense of satisfaction in that answer. I just want to make sure I'm hearing that right. Because uh, Jeb Bush was asked a similar question two days ago. Are you satisfied with where you are right now? I am, actually. Uh, I, of course, started in a very different place than Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush was the man to beat. Jeb Bush had all the money. Uh, I started 17 out of 16. The pollsters didn't even ask my name because less than 3% of Republican voters had ever heard of me. And now I'm sitting, seven, tied with several governors, uh, on that main debate stage, which is where I will stay. And we're going through a long process of elimination, and we're going to get to the process of selection. But I'll just remind you of this. If the polls were predictors at this point in a race, we would have had a President Howard Dean, a President Rudy Giuliani, and heaven forbid, we already would have had a President Hillary Clinton.